I'm José Dubé. I'm professor of forage agronomy here at University of Florida in FRC Mariana. Uh, we are here today to talk about limpograss. Limpograss uh, is a perennial warm season grass. And today, by the way, is May 18, 2022. And look at this grass. So limpograss uh, is, is a good fit to bridge the forage gaps that you have here in the panhandle. You can bridge right now in May, where it's typically dry, and limpo grass is already growing really well and could bridge the forage gap. Also, limpo grass is a very good grass for stockpiling in the fall. So, if you have limpo grass in the fall, it could bridge the gap from October until January, where you could have some cool season forage growing by then. So, stockpile limpo grass with some supplementation, it is a good and cheap option for your cattle during the fall gap as well. We are organizing a day to provide you uh, planting material. So our, uh, we are going to provide enough planting material for you to plant one acre of limpo grass in your farm. From one acre next year, you can plant 10 acres. Uh, we are planning to have up to 30 farmers here to, uh, to pick up planting material. The registration is already open. So sign up for that because the numbers are limited. My name is Doug Mayo. I'm the County Extension Director in Jackson County. And I want to guide you through some basic steps that are needed to prepare your land to plant a one acre nursery of limpo grass for planting material. The first step is to select a place that's somewhat out of the way and protected from grazing or other operations, uh, but also close enough that you can keep a close eye on it like this area I'm standing in near the shop at our research center. If you're not familiar with sizing out an acre for planting, 43,560 square feet is one acre. Or if you wanna just measure a square, 209 feet by 209 feet. The next step is the soil test. And we wanna make sure our pH is where it needs to be at 5.5. If it's not, then we can line the property and we can incorporate it as we're preparing our seed bed. If you select an area for your nursery, much like we're standing in, that's already in grass and has some weeds, the first uh, step of preparation is to use glyphosate at two to three quarts per acre to kill the grass and weeds. But you wanna wait at least 10 to 14 days before disking to give the herbicide time to work and kill the existing vegetation. As soon as you get your soil test results back, uh, you'll see if you need any lime applied to your nursery area. Uh, you want to get it out as soon as possible uh, ahead of disking. And we want to disk those plots at least two times, but possibly three or four times to get it thoroughly uh, prepared for planting. Uh, also remember we want that plot smooth and level so you can add a, a drag behind the disc or use some kind of implement that makes it nice and smooth and prepared for applying the materials. The goal is to have a nice smooth level seed bed as free of vegetation as possible ready and waiting so when you come to the research station and you return with your planting material you're ready to distribute the tops and evenly cover your acre uh, and then quickly as possible cover it with a disc. Preferably have all the planting done within the first six hours after harvest. The ideal tool to use to plant uh, tops is a sprig spreader that connects to your wagon with your fresh cut bales. You've got two men that stand on either side and they shake the pads into this. It's ground driven, makes the spinner turn and it slings that hay out evenly over the swath. If you don't have access to a sprig spreader, you can also use a traditional tether. Uh, you'd simply want to unload the square bales evenly around the one acre, uh, break up the bales and scatter the pads evenly, and then run through a few times with a tether to evenly spread the material, and then quickly cover it over with a disc uh, to keep it moist. After you've evenly distributed the materials, we want to come back with our disc and lightly cover all that material about two to three inches. 
So to do that, you're probably going to have to adjust the angle of your gain to be less aggressive because we just want to lightly cover that material with soil. Our final step for our planting and our seed bed preparation, after we've covered the materials with a disc, uh, we want to go across them with a, a roller or a cultipacker, uh, make sure we firm up that soil uh, so those planted material, those tops, uh, stay moist and have an opportunity to emerge uh, without drying out. A few weeks after planting, you should see good sprig emergence all over the, the acre nursery and you, you see that you have a stand. Uh, when that grass gets somewhere in the neighborhood of three to five inches tall, we want to get out of there and fertilize. We don't recommend fertilizing like we do with the lime before planting because we don't want to we don't want to waste that fertilizer and we want to wait till the plant's ready to use it. So we put 30 pounds of nitrogen plus the P and K recommended by the soil test. Then about 30 days later, after you've, you've got strong plants and it's starting to run, put another additional 50 pounds of nitrogen, but we really like to do a split application uh, so that we're not putting fertilizer out before the plant needs it. Uh, certainly you can use a spreader buggy as I'm standing next to uh, but it may be simpler since we're only doing an acre uh, just to use a typical spreader on the back of a tractor and uh, whether you use blended fertilizer or bag fertilizer the idea is we we want to get this grass up and started and growing and spreading so that next spring it's ready to fertilize and grow planting materials. Another thing that's important to mention uh, limpo grass is sensitive to products containing 2,4-D, especially during the warm season of the year. So as your nursery is emerging and if you have some weed issues, make sure you visit with your county agent about the weeds that you have and the options we have, but you don't want to use things like Grazon Next or Weed Master or straight 2,4-D on limpo grass uh, during the hot months. If you follow these basic steps, by the end of the summer, you should have a full lush one acre nursery of limpo grass. So we'll allow it to just grow and mature and spread this growing season. Uh, after a hard freeze in the winter, you wanna come back and burn off all the dead material, add fertilizer, and sometime between eight and 12 weeks, it'll be mature and able to be harvested and for use for planting on your farm. You follow these same basic steps as you did for your nursery. Hopefully we can get uh, at least two and possibly three harvests next year. Uh, and you should be able to get 10 acres of pasture planted fr from each harvest of your one acre nursery. If you have questions about limpo grass, the steps we went through today, uh, and how it might be helpful for your operation, contact your local county extension office.